Hey, how's it going, Old School RuneScape, and welcome back to another week the recap. And we kicked off this week with the announcement of RuneFest 2016, coming Saturday the 17th of September, and with a brand new venue in London. Old School RuneScape will have a raids theme as well as many exciting activities, including a last man standing tournament, meet and greets with your favorite streamers and YouTubers, and much more. It's definitely looking like it'll be an incredible event, so be sure to check out the link below for more information. Following that, we released a new dev blog on our proposed rewards to come with raids, including the Elder Maul and Elder Wand. And we're still gathering feedback from the community, so be sure to let us know what you think of these proposed rewards. In Twitter news, Mod Kieran tweeted out a handful of Clue Scroll statistics courtesy of Mod Porky. Mod Weth reminded you that Jagex will only ever contact you about your offenses through the official RuneScape inbox. And Mod Ash hit his 12 year anniversary at Jagex. Moving on, we have this week's updates, including the brand new Hidey Holes. These conveniently located stash units can be used to store your clue-related items to free up some bank space, as well as make it a little bit more convenient when you run into that clue again in the future. They do come with some construction requirements, ranging from 27 to 88 construction, and there's a whopping 108 of these Hidey Holes in total around the game. Up next, we have the Last Man Standing Beta. With just under 2,000 invites being sent out, we saw swarms of players partake in the event and we were able to gather plenty of solid feedback. We're currently experimenting with a handful of suggested changes, including randomizing spawns, better equipment, rewards for killing opponents, and the possibilities of single combat areas. And finally, players now have the ability to bypass the name change cooldown by using bonds, and the Pothole Dungeon has received an expansion. So let's move on to this week's Q&A, where we discuss the early feedback from Last Man Standing, Master Clue Scrolls, and Mod Ghost showed off Mod West's work on the boss display cases. And lastly, we have this week's Player Spotlight feature, starting off with this Banjo's Godsword meme from Swordfrog, which has inspired many similar just as awful RuneScape puns. Up next, Legend Arts created this incredible image in appreciation of Mod Kirin. And lastly, Homer and friends managed to recreate the Ninja Turtles in old school RuneScape. That's awesome. So that about sums up this week in Old School RuneScape. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the game, and aside from that, we'll thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next week.